What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be doing a part three on the off-road trailer build. So we're gonna start fitting up the tongue. I'm gonna build it off the trailer and then weld it onto the trailer. And uh, picked up a 20 foot stick of two by four, as well as a 36 inch long piece of receiver hitch tubing. And this particular piece already has the hitch pin hole drilled in it and a little end piece on it. And it wound up being basically what I would have spent on just a raw receiver hitch tube. So went ahead and went that route. Uh, it's gonna be kind of our backbone of the tongue on the trailer. And then the two by four will be what I frame up the rest of the tongue out of. So about to break out the chop saw and get to cutting. So let's get her done. guys got this thing all fitted up and uh, tacked together and about to weld it up like I said before the hitch tube is kind of going to be like the backbone of the whole thing it's all notched into the other tubes and then this long one will sit on top of the frame rails and it'll have some pieces behind it that come back and attach, attach it to the frame a little better than just sitting on top and welded. been having some uh, GoPro issues not only overheating now but it keeps freezing up and telling me that my SD card needs formatted and I've formatted it like 10 times and I don't know what's up with it so if anybody knows of a camera that's not going to give me issues similar to a GoPro that's got good image stabilization and um, I really like the 
horizon leveling feature of the GoPro and all that, but if they're going to keep giving me issues, I'm going to find a different option. So, uh, got the tongue all welded out and got the old tongue cut off of the trailer. Just a rough cut out from, out from where I need it. So this is the line that's even with the front of the trailer here. And that's going to be the back of my tube. So i got to finish cutting off my uh, what's left of the brackets. And uh, I've got a piece of 2x4 that's going to go between the frame rails here underneath the tongue. So I've got to get that put in there and then we can start putting the tongue on. guys I've got the cross member welded in from the front I'm about to uh, weld in the back side got it up here on the lift and uh, after I welded it trim the frame off just outside the welds gonna clean that up with the grinder get all these little pieces off and get her looking good but for right now got to finish welding that in and then we'll look at getting the the tongue tacked on. guys back out here at dad's and i don't remember where i left off last time it's been a while since i worked on my off-road trailer but uh got dad's jeep lifted and everything so we're getting back on it so this is where it's at i've got the tongue welded up it's welded into place well tacked into place the uh cross member under there is welded into place but I am about to pull the bed off and give me more room to get all in behind everywhere and add my uh, gusset tubes back here on top of the factory frame rails. And uh, that'll just give us more room to work all up in there and not have to be up welding underneath the trailer.
All right, guys, got the uh, trailer tongue all welded out. It's looking pretty good. Still gotta make some end caps for the tubes, get them welded in there. Uh, picked up a tongue jack. It's kind of a pain to find one that went high enough for this thing, but I uh, finally found one. Got my trailer side of the lock and roll put in there just for test fit. Um, I've still got to, I'm gonna drill a second hole about four inches apart on each piece. That way I can have two pins holding that tongue on. Um, just a little added security. But uh, yeah, still gotta wire the tail lights back up. All the factory wiring was kinda crappy. It was all weather cracked and the shielding was basically just cracking off of it. So I'm just gonna re rewire the whole tail lights and a uh, few, few more little things and she'll be ready to go. I'm gonna get them end caps for the, all the tubes knocked out. I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five to do with those. <clears throat> Leaving the center uh, open on the back end because I want water or anything that gets in there to be able to run out. But um, everything else is gonna be sealed off so yep i'm gonna get back on it all right guys got it finished up eventually i'm still gonna plate the top but uh for right now this will do i figure plating the top will kind of hold all my joints together and just to give it a little bit more strength and there will still be a I'm going to mount a tongue toolbox on here, but I got all the ends capped off, got it painted up, painted all the spots on the frame where you're either going to see or it might have the tendency to collect some dirt and gunk up in there. But uh, yeah, I'm about to set the bed back down on it and get it bolted on. All right, guys, there she is. Tongue's all welded on, painted up, bed's bolted back on. Still got to uh, build some crossbars to mount the rooftop tin on, but that'll be on the next video. So, still got to mount up a tongue toolbox on here, and eventually I'm still going to plate the inside of the tongue there. But uh, for right now it should do the job but yep that's gonna be it for this one guys uh, get the tongue all finished up and next time we'll be putting some crossbars on this thing to mount the tin on so make sure and come back for part will that be four I think this is part three so yeah make sure and come back and like the video subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and uh, we'll see you guys next time.